Okay, so I'm just going to brush out the eyebrow hairs, make sure they're in line. I like to brush it up instead of straight. So you can get this from any products really, anything that has a brush, you can use it. And then this is a eyebrow pencil from MAC, it was limited edition. But you can use anything, you can get an MUA brow pencil, this is one pound. I've got loads, except I want to use this pencil because that's what I use to create this eyebrow. So I'll just use the same one to create this. But nonetheless, this does the exact same job. And it's a pound. Can't go wrong with that. So what I do, I tend to start from the beginning where my hair starts. And I just follow the line. I don't create anything new. Not at this point. So just follow the line. Where your lines are, it's the same line you trace. Don't create more, don't create less. The exact same line. But then I would like to bring a line just before where the brow starts. So my hair starts from there. And that's where the line is. So you have enough space to create whatever effect you want. So then what I do... Seeing as I've already brushed my hair up, I just stroke this upwards. I don't just shade anything up to mimic the hair lines just like these ones. So I run these lines all the way through right from the front till where the hair begins. And then what I do since there's not enough hair on this side, where does this end? So you can see there's a gap. So if you follow your brow shape, you find your top bit is full. By getting to the end, there's not enough hair. So I just start from where there's the gap. And I follow it through upwards. And then just join that together. So you get the egg, similar kind of shape it's not the eyebrows are never twins okay they're sisters they just have to look alike so just fill this gap in and don't worry about any mistakes you create because you would always fix that when you're cleaning it so it's not a problem so just fill that in like so as you can see I've got this going up there but not to worry that can be fixed so it's the same thing really it's just going upwards wherever you feel there's a gap that needs filling just go through it with the pencil and that's that. Not too much in the front. I don't like that boxy shape. It's just strokes. This is just to fill in the gap here. That is just to create lines. Don't go over it. So I use this flat top brush. Any flat top brush. This is by e.l.f. I think it costs less than £2 if I'm not mistaken. You can get e.l.f. I think in boots and online very affordable but anything even if you find it in the drugstore store like a pound or 50p so if it's flat top it's fine you can you can use that it's not a problem so i'm going to clean it so as you can see on this bra i've got a light up shade underneath and this is the la girl pro concealer everyone knows this and this is in the shade fawn so I am going to carefully draw a line underneath where I drew my brow line. So right underneath it, just go over it like so. Don't 
don't make your line so messy that you're not able to just neaten it up and I think that's what most people do as a mistake they just draw anything most of all they just like to shade it in but if you do that it's hard to create or to have that mimic look that you want so just follow the line through underneath where you started your your shading and one thing I did today which helped with this brow just raise your brows and go underneath it so you don't have much of blending to do like so it follows through much easier like that My brows are not neat, but that's just to tell you you can actually create any shape you want, regardless. And then use your spoolie as many times as you want. Okay. Now here's the trick. To neaten the top brow, I don't use the light concealer. I use my foundation color so for this brow look I'm using the Makeup Forever Matte Velvet in the shade 80 that is my skin tone so if if you want any reference I use the MAC Studio Fix Fluid MW46 not 45 46 yes there is a 46 that's my shade so this is matte velvet shade 80 and what I do I go over the top with my foundation color so the exact same procedure as the light one I just go over it very close to line it may not come out the exact same shape but it will be very close enough like that And I just go from the top, like so. There you go. Nothing more. Nothing less. And then I use, this is such a good brush, you guys. This is uh by real technique is i think it's it's the it's in this set they've got this eye set and this brush is very very good it blends very well so i just go in with my foundation color not the concealer color my foundation color to blend out the highlighted concealer underneath it so it creates that illusion of um light to dark i don't i don't blend out the highlighted shade with more of the same shade I go with my foundation shade so it gives you that warmth that you need in the end so you don't have that halo eyebrow going on so apply as much as you want blend out as much as you want if you don't want to have the highlight look in the end just apply more foundation that's all you can always amend with makeup. It's not, if you make any mistake, it's, it's not the end of it. It's not a problem. And then I just blend it with the brush. Like so. And don't forget to blend this area, you guys. It's not a uni brow. Make sure this bit is distinguished. Blend it very, very well. Alternatively, before you apply your highlight concealer for the nose area, just blend this area with your foundation color so that it's much easier to work with. Anything you find difficult, just go with a neutral color first. Get a hand of it and then you can be a pro. So that is more or less the same thing. But since I wiped this area, I don't have much powder on this side. So what you can do from that is just go over it now you can see that here's very small compared to that so then what i now do 
to just mimic the front area like so ever so gently and then stroke it and then um, I know this is much fuller than that but you get the idea yeah like that and then just mimic it there you go so if I'm to now set this whole area with my powder bring back the highlighter it would be the exact same it would have the exact same effect as this one because there's nothing highlighted over it so it just looks much smaller but that's just how you create the shape at least you get the shape of it how it looks underneath and all of that so add as you go along subtract as you go along and that is that Okay. And I use Mac Studio Fix. This is another Studio Fix. This is the Mineralized Skin Finish in Dark Deep. Um, comes with a mirror, so you can use that to set the top area, like so. As you can see, it looks better now. Um, yeah. There you go. That's just to blend everything in. Blend, blend, blend. Blend is your best friend. I've had this brow since morning around um 10 o'clock so it's got a bit of shine whereas this is more matte but that tells you how how mu how much long your products can last you so that's the technique guys hope you're all happy you've been requesting for it so there you go